Hello everybody, it's Pam from Lexington Public Library. I have another craft for you. Today we'll be learning how to make a keychain. It's not a difficult craft, it's really kind of fun and relaxing. After you've had a long day, just want to do something where you don't have to think very hard, this is the craft for you. So what you'll need for this craft is you'll need leather string or twine. Um, you will need little rings, key ring, rings. You will need beads of various colors and, and sizes. And that's pretty much it. And a pair of scissors, of course, and this poker. I'm not sure what the official name is for this, but I call it a poker. Okay, so let's get started. We're gonna cut about a foot or so of twine. I'm kind of eye eyeballing it, meaning I'm guessing. I don't know if that's an exact foot or not. You will then take your string and loop it over about that much. And your ring, you want to loop it, not where the opening is where the key would go. Loop it like that. And then kind of pull it to secure it, kind of like that. Okay, and then next what you're going to do is just choose the kind, the size of uh, beads that you like. Notice there's a big opening here where you won't have trouble threading it through. That's one thing you want to remember. You don't want your bead to be, the opening to be so small that you're not able to get the string inside. Just choose any color. That's pretty, I like the green. And I think the pink is pretty too. You would need your poker if your opening was um, too small, you could kind of push the string through. But so far this is working well. How about purple, if you like purple? Okay, we're threading both of the little pieces of thread through. And yellow, how about yellow? Get in there, it's trying to jump out. Did you see that? Okay. All right, now what I think I'll do is to add a, a smaller um, size, a couple of those at least. Push that through, and hmm, what about orange? Doesn't really matter, whatever colors you like. And I think I will do a really dark purple. That's pretty. And after you've gotten the number of beads that you like, you would simply tie it at the bottom and secure it so that the beads don't fall off. We don't want the beads falling off, right? And you tie it. You want to get it as close to the bead as you can so there's not a lot of space, unless you want it that way. Some people might want to tie a few knots at the bottom. Okay, and now I will simply cut it, leave a little tail there, and ooh la, you have yourself a keychain. It's not anything really difficult, but it is kind of neat to do. And you can give these away. Mother's Day's coming up, kids, if there are any kids doing this craft. Um, it's a nice stocking stuffer for Christmas, which is quite a ways off. But anyway, thank you for joining in with this craft today. I hope you enjoyed it. And please keep watching in case we have another craft. Bye now.